Right? We had a great introduction so far. Let's start the actual work. Before diving into the data, we should always take a moment and think whether we have everything we will need for our analysis. For instance, in this case, we can see the period column merges the year and month when the transactions occurred. If we separate them, it will be easier to manipulate the data. Let's do that. I will insert two new columns in the left side of the sheet. One of them will contain months, and the other one will contain years. Fortunately for us, the column we want to split contains six digits at all times. The first four show the year, and then the last two show the month when the transaction was registered. So it is very easy to split years and months. All we have to do is use the right and left functions, and we will be able to separate months and years in no time. I'll type right in the first new column, and we'll select the cell where years and months are merged. The second argument of the function is the number of characters we want to obtain. In this case, we're interested in getting the last two characters that stand on the right. Hence, I will write two. OK. For the second column, we'll need to use the left function and proceed in the exact same way as before. Select the cell that merges months and years and specify the number of characters we want to obtain. In this case, it will be four, given that the years are shown in the first four characters on the left. Let's copy these two cells and paste them for the entire table. This allows us to have the month and year when every transaction occurred in separate cells.